What is up, players? It's Woolboss Tay up in this mug. Oh boy, it's been a long time since I made a video. So today we're going to look at the Great Swords kit for the Empire Army in Warhammer Fantasy. These guys are mucho, muy, muy expensivo. And they were called Gold Swords when they first came out because when the Empire was redone a couple years back, they came in a box of 10. They still do come in a box of 10. What am I talking about? And they cost a pretty penny. You could go to Jack in the Box and buy a hundred tacos for the same amount in America. So that gives you a little idea of how expensive they are if you know Jack in the Box currency. So I thought I'd take a look at them and show you. The, the, the sprues really come packed with stuff, so that's good. And the detail on these new models is really, really beautiful. It's just they're so expensive. So uh, let's take a look at them. You get... You get... Two sets of identical, yeah, identical sprues. So first we're going to take a look at these two half sprues. They're completely identical, so we'll take a look at one of them first. This first one, if we can zoom in, let's get started. You'll notice that in all of these swords, they either come in two designs. These curved, really awesome looking ones, or these straight ones with the little... Uh, extensions there and they've all got these big puffy sleeves. You'll notice that they're more detailed, fuller, they're fuller sculpted than the state trooper arms which is really cool. You can have the hang this on them as an option for a hand weapon. Uh, so yeah the two two-handed weapons so they'll be holding one their left arm right arm will be this one holding the weapon, and then the left arm will be one of these that you attach to them. Then they're moving implacably forwards. That was an option or a, a design choice that I particularly agree with, that the great sword's legs are not spread eagle like they're doing the lunge. I feel like when you look at some of the Empire State Troops, it looks like they're doing lunges. I love this hand axe. Great weapon to have on just hanging from your warrior's waist or to litter the, the, the base with or to put on a scenery, pay, a scenery piece, just the detail with the, the Templar cross into the axe head is fantastic. This is, this is another thing about that's what, what's really great about these boxes that were released at the time. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six empire heads and these six are just on one of these identical sprues. So you look at the second sprue, you've got a second identical sprue and you've got just the same amount of heads. So already you've got 12 heads. And that's before we even take a look at this larger one. Now this larger sprue has the standard, which means that you're gonna have two standards because you've got uh, two of these identical sprues. So already you, you're able to fill your bits box up with a lot of stuff. And let's take a look at what these guys look like. Here's another head over there. Grizzled champion looking head. Really beautiful detail. Trumpet. I really like this one head here. Sorry, it's upside down. It's, is it a head? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This guy with the full, fully closed face mask. A laurel that you could put on one of your champion's heads or onto hang it from the banner like this or for another banner in your army. Pointy hand. Um, more great swords. This beautiful champion's great sword or you can use it for a regular guy's great sword and it has inscription on the blade. So beautiful. Oh, another head. This gorget piece, if I could talk about this for a second. Oh, I'm gonna have to break this in half so you guys don't have to look upside down at it anymore. This gorget piece, where did it go here? Is really excellent because you could put this on any troop, just put it on their, their breastplate of their armor and it looks like they're their neck is protected. And it's just a small, tiny little thing. You don't have to use it at all, but it really will make your guy look even more awesome. This is the champion. You can tell it's the champion because his feather is big and poofy, but only goes up to there. 
the intention is that you take this big poofy part of the feather and you hang it off of the back. And that will look absolutely ridiculous when you do. In a good way, of course. The breastplates, very, very well done. Some of them are fully sculpted like this, front and back. And some of them you have to actually glue together. Not on this one, but let's back up a little. There, you can see this breastplate, this torso, rather. You have to glue the front to the back. They've got a little knot, nub and a hole there so that you can glue them together. Here you've got a hat without a head, very cool. If you want to convert a, another head to have a hat on it, or you can collect these hat bits, buy them all on eBay, and have a very awesome looking converted Empire themed Skaven Storm Vermin unit with Empire hats. Ridiculous! There's some more swords. The cool thing about the swords is they all look individually really really nice like when you look at one of these great swords the, the the detail the little skull in the hilt with the two templar crosses on the sides i mean really 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 very well done and that's what probably why it costs so much more heads some more heads over here big bushy beards if you want to do a middenheim or osland army uh very poofy and elaborate looking mutton chops if you want to do a richer province like Rakeland, you can actually make the heads of your troops look like they belong to different provinces. All right, and that's the great sword box. So I'm going to go build these guys up now. All right, a couple of, well, maybe an hour later of assembly and this is what we have. Let's zoom in and take a look at everything. In the back here I've got my unit. Really, really cool. I, I love building them up. I love the poofy sleeves. After painting so many of the uh, regular, I want to say, state troops, halberdiers guys. Here is one as an example. They look kind of small in comparison. The clothes are more tight-fitting. Here's a regular swordsman. When you stack them up, put them next to each other, the great swords are just so much beefier. So, so much more space to work with on the sleeves and the pants. Really excited for that. I took one of the extra loose great swords and I put it onto the back of my musician here. So that you could. See. So that you can see the, the sword hanging off the back at a diagonal angle, which I think is pretty, pretty cool. And he's walking forward, he's got his sword down, he's blowing his trumpet, and he's got his great sword hanging from his back. I also decided to, as you can see, clip out the rest of the pieces so you can see what else comes with the models and what goes into your bits box. So, lots of arms with both hands. I think there's more sword arms than than gripping hands though. Two extra torsos. You've got the hand with hand weapon and another trumpet. Or if you decide to use this box to bulk out an existing unit, then you will have um, twice as many of these extra things. Extra hand weapons, hats, pointing hand, a skull in the helmet. I think those are banner tops, banner, banner arm, the twin twelfth comet, some wreaths, loose daggers, not really sure what to do with them. Uh, I think you could put these on very easily. These are sheathed swords, hand weapons with the, even got the little leather strap to sh show where you're supposed to connect it to the model's waist. So I love that. Two gorgets, I haven't glued those on yet. All these extra heads. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 extra heads. So lots of extra bits. For the amount of bits that come in this kit, I give A+, 100%. For the ease of putting the models together, I give it 100%. They're very easy. You just should let them dry between gluing. It's still a, a thumbs up for me, though, because it went together. The mold lines were very inconspicuous and easy to clean on the sides of the legs. They were very obvious where they were. And 
uh, they went together really easily, they ranked up really easily, for me at least, so I give the Great Swords kit a big thumbs up. Only thumbs down is for the price, just because it's so expensive for only 10 guys, but that is uh, not a problem that you should really be thinking too much about. If you're going to go for Great Swords, then you're going to go for these guys, because I think it's better in the long run than getting a cheaper kit of the old metal ones because now you have all these extra pieces. If you're a converter, then it's going to be really, really great for you. Okay, thanks for watching. This is my review and unboxing of the Great Swords kit for the Empire Army. Stay tuned as we do some painting tutorials for the provinces that are left. Thanks for watching. Latest players.